morning, folks. I'm at it again. I, uh, I've been doing something kind of like trying a different kind of thing because one of the things that I have been trying to learn more about is the ways of God's kingdom. And Jesus said that the kingdom of God is in our hearts. So this morning's revelation to me about that was that if the kingdom of God is in our hearts, then who we are brings his kingdom if we're connected to God's heart. So we connect to God, to his heart, the kingdom comes to our hearts, and then we bring his kingdom to our midst. And it's basically manifested by the things that we can do that become his presence to wherever we go. So here I am walking this morning, and I'm asking God, Lord, what's your plan for for my life, for my purpose today? And I'm praying and sort of kind of centering myself in his presence, like kind of getting close to his heart. And there, as I turn the corner, there's a young man sitting at a be- on the bench. It's like a little park, and he's got his head down, and he looks like he's crying. And I'm like, well, maybe, maybe I should go over there, but I kind of felt like a little bit... Um, sort of like afraid to do it because he is a lot younger than me and I'm like he's a millennial and I don't know if he's gonna want to even listen to me so I basically said I better do it all he can say is no so I get close to him and it turns out that he's crying because he's going through some personal stuff that he really didn't share much but I knew it was deep and heavy because he kept saying like it was a difficult place and he had come there sort of trying to find an answer to these dilemmas so the only thing I could do was provide him words of encouragement. And finally, I asked him if I could pray with him. And, you know, I, I just kind of said, Lord, here I am. And, and put my, myself out there, took the risk, and got an opportunity to pray with him and share God's heart for his purpose and plan. I don't know who he is. I know his name, but I'm not going to share the name here because I think I want to keep that private. But I know that when we say yes to God and we allow him to use us as his, as his vessels and we don't put a, a, a condition on it and we're just free in that purpose. And even if we look like fools, what happens is his kingdom comes through and one day we will know why. And for this, I give God glory and honor and I praise his name and I thank him because I allowed him to Use me. I participated. I was. I say yes, and it, it happened. So, hey, my challenge to you today is, will you do the same? Would you let God's kingdom be manifested in who you are today? Amen.